Taurus, Bow Gang, what up though? Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. This will be a general message today for the sign of Taurus, wherever that resonates at for you in your birth chart. Keep in mind, we all have a second house as part of our birth chart. We all deal with Taurus energy to some degree in our realities. Time and energy are fluid. So take what resonates here today and leave the rest for someone else. These readings are timeless as well, family. So whenever you find yourself here, there will be a message here for you to help bring you clarity and confirmation, to help empower you, to help us align with our highest selves, with our highest timelines, with our best lives. <clears throat> Tapping into your energy. Actually, I've tried to tap into your energy a couple times, a few times now Taurus over the past couple of days and it just it, it's been a lot it's been a little bit all over the place and I just don't think it was it was the right time um what I see in this energy I use this illuminated earth oracle deck just to grab a couple cards to help me tap in with the energy um Taurus it feels like there's a lot going on in your world right now and it feels like through everything that you're going through some pretty intense energy coming through there is the potential to kind of step through this portal into this new version of yourself into this growth and into this harmony um with plants harmony and anguish coming through for you and then on the bottom of the deck we have this eruption energy this really intense energy this obstacle so whether this obstacle for you this eruption this intense energy this anguish <clears throat> is people places things thought patterns in your life right now it really feels like things are kind of happening or coming apart in order to come together in whatever way that looks for you um so i am gonna say a quick prayer and then we will dive into this energy. We'll probably start with this double major to grab a theme of today's message. And I'm being drawn toward this mind info oracle card uh, deck as well. Probably grab a card from that too before we jump into the tarot. So feel free to join me in prayer. Thank you all for being here. Hope this message finds everybody in good spirits and blessed and well. Um... Yeah, let's do it. Holy Divine Mother and Father, <clears throat> Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Archangels, Ancestors, Messages for my bull gang, for my Taurus family today, for their highest good. Anything Taurus needs to hear or know, any messages that will bring them clarity and confirmation, healing, wisdom, understanding, any messages that will empower Taurus and help the bull gang align with their highest selves, their highest timelines, their best lives. Of course, above all, any messages that will help Taurus align with the highest divine will for their journeys through this life will be greatly appreciated. All praise and glory forever and ever. What is the theme? Bull Gang's message today, please, Spirit. A lot wanting to come through. I feel like there's a lot of people around you, Taurus, that there's been a lot of other energies coming out in your energy. Maybe endings or transformation within relationships. Maybe, Taurus, you are um, wanting to move away from certain people or places at this time. Yeah, a lot of strength energy coming through for you. Ultimately with this page of pentacles, knight of wands energy coming through with the death underlying here. So again, we're seeing some endings. It's kind of like this, what is next energy. I see uh, an opportunity to move into kind of a new energy or a new chapter here. And again, just like I saw that portal opening up with this harmony card, it's like there's an opportunity here to really take action and, and move into something new to really be transformed by whatever is playing out in your realities right now. Bottom of the deck on this, uh, what is it? The mind info oracle cards fresh start 
you are being given the opportunity to begin again. Allow yourself to embrace this new life and open up fully to this gift that you're being given. Is there anything else for that Taurus needs to hear at this time? Release. Okay. You are being asked to release any toxic people or situations from your life. You deserve to be free from all the drama. And this is the first step to achieving that. <clears throat> and in this card here, the Knight of Wands, this is actually the alternate version. And if you see the horse, it's actually like skirting off toward these pyramids. In this card, it gives the feeling, usually the Knight of Wands is on the horse. It's about action. We're moving toward um, whatever it is we're moving toward. With this horse moving toward these pyramids, it almost feels like there's an energy of the collective getting distracted by something and kind of stepping off the horse that's moving toward your destiny for a time. But with that being said, it's like if we went off track a little bit or if something distracted us or however it kind of is, is looking and manifesting in your world, the night is still very protected. We still have this tunic on with these salamanders representing protection from the fire, representing your own connection with spirit and the fact that you are being divinely guided at this time. So again, I feel there's a portal opening up. I feel like you're learning a lot. I feel like there is a lot of growth through this ending or through this transformation that you're going through right now um, that is going to bring you into a new space, a better space. So with that, we're gonna jump into this tarot, see what spirit wants to bring through and um, We'll start off in your energy and we'll, we'll go from there. So what is Bullgang's energy right now, please, Spirit? What's Taurus's energy? Wheel of Fortune. Eight of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Magician, beautiful. So it feels like you're taking your power back here, Taurus. It feels like you're focused on you. It feels like as the wheel turns, it's turning in your favor. This is bringing expansion for you. And you're focused on learning. You're focused on growing. You're focused on building. You are focused on manifesting your best life and putting your legacy together here. <clears throat> Again, stepping into your power and with you coming through as the magician, the fool, the very first two cards of the tarot it is definitely representing a fresh start and the magician is mercury energy this is gemini energy this is an expansion of your mind this is you this is definitely ascension here and with the magician spirit is saying that you have all the tools at your disposal right now to make magic happen um, this there's a huge emphasis on our mental space whenever the magician comes through this is about speaking it claiming it, affirming it, writing it down, especially as we're moving toward this new moon, I believe in Scorpio, <clears throat> through the tropical lens. This would be about getting the game plan together or getting, you know, connecting with spirit, connecting with your intuition at this time and saying, okay, what's next? And then putting that game plan down on paper or doing some type of practice or ritual or affirmations um, or visualization for what it is you're being called or guided to create as you move forward. So what energies are crossing Taurus right now? For some of you, it's the people around you or the people at work the people in your world or even where you're at right now like location wise that can be feeling like a bit of a hindrance or maybe even this on maybe we're unclear or uncertain on what action to take right now Taurus but in the crossing energies we have the sun with the king of cups here so if you just look at this, this is the energy that could be helping you at this time. This is all about meditation and connecting with the moment. Um, 
bringing ourselves into a place of stillness so we can see the light. It's like when we are all over the place, when our mind is racing a million miles a minute and our emotions are all over the place, it's hard to see the light, right? We can get in that sort of like eight of swords energy where it's like we're bound, we're stuck here because there's so much going on, so much overthinking, so much overanalyzation. In this card, this is really about maybe connecting with some breath work and some meditation or some yoga to bring yourself down, to bring yourself here to the moment. So that light of your consciousness, that light of your heart can shine through, especially with this fool not wanting to leave the bottom of the deck here. Um, as you can see, this yellow, it represents will, the Manipura chakra, the solar plexus chakra, and we see this flower of life down here, which represents God, it represents the divine, it represents the universe. And we have the amethyst in her hand, <clears throat> representing connection with our intuition. So this is about taking action and aligning your will with the divine will and following that guidance, trusting that everything is truly working out in your favor right now. Taurus, especially with the Seven of Pentacles under that. Wow, Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles, which is kind of like a message of remaining optimistic and staying positive as the universe kind of sends into our realities the people and the situations and opening the doors that are going to get us to where we need to be. Seven and three is the Ten of Pentacles together. Be still and know Taurus. Wow, that you are aligning with this energy where you're able to build your legacy, where you're able to manifest what it is your soul came here to manifest, to build what it is you came here to build. This is about watering the good seeds. Um, so I'm also, I keep seeing this Leo Aquarian energy, which are opposite signs of the Zodiac. So there seems to be this energy for Taurus. If Leo is our heart space, if Leo is this sun energy, somebody definitely has heavy Leo in their chart. But on a deeper level, if Leo is the heart, an Aquarius is, it's almost like this us and them. It feels like maybe you're dealing with a lot of other people's projections or a lot of outside energy. And again, this is about like meditating and connecting with stillness with the self as you are transforming and expanding in such a big way. I feel like your reality is changing and it's changing from the inside. So this is about you connecting with where you're at in your heart and in your core, not with where you used to be or <clears throat> where the version of you I'm, I'm seeing people in your life that are connected to an old version of you. I see that you have come so far, <laughs> Taurus, that your reality is shifting. And this is, I almost see you like connected with all of these people or situations that are no longer resonating. And it's kind of keeping you in that space. So this is truly for Taurus about going within, about connecting with your heart, about healing, about slowing down, about meditating and kind of following, surrendering to following where it is you're being guided and pulled right now, connecting with that light and letting it pull you into the space you're being guided at this time. I hope that makes sense because it's kind of hard to break down, break this down because I feel it, it's definitely gonna resonate differently for everyone. It's about you kind of taking your power back, I feel like Taurus and standing in your authenticity, knowing that everything goes through cycles, everything is constantly changing, always. If we're not in it, in that cycle where we're, we're dying, we're stagnant. What is incoming? Why is this energy playing out right now for Taurus to, to get you out of this old chapter, out of this old pain, out of these old relationships and situations, right? We have Pluto at the last degree of Capricorn family. We're closing a huge door. 
Saturn's in Pisces, Neptune's in Pisces right now, the last sign of the Zodiac. This is seriously a massive timeline jump for the collective. I feel like the more we hold on, the more we, you know, try to grab and grasp the past and, and these things, it, it's the more it's going to hurt, right? So what is incoming for Taurus? Beautiful. Six of Wands. What else do we have? Seven of Wands. Stand in your victory. Take no shit right now. This is not your advice. This is the incoming energy. Six, seven, and eight of Wands. Some of you seeing six, seven, eight. We have the ten of, ten of Swords on the bottom. So this is an ending. It does feel like a difficult ending. It feels like you're releasing a lot. Taurus, Lord knows you've been through a lot in this cycle and let's just say think about what you've been through since 08 since pluto entered capricorn with pluto being at 29 degrees of capricorn right now this is like an accumulation of all of that energy and all of that cycle kind of playing out for us in whatever way it's playing out and so ten of swords to me nine of swords hangman how did what did this teach me what did this entire cycle, this nightmare for some of you, right? What did it teach you? What are you taking from it, right? I see that Taurus is truly becoming enlightened, illuminated through the, the situations and, and um, energies that you've been navigating. So it feels like this is about you're in the period of kind of rooting into this illumination and moving toward your victory here, toward your success toward this energy where you're going to be able to shine your light and say, hey, this is how I made it through. If that's what you're being guided to do, this is your victory right here. And this is everybody seeing your glow up. I feel like God is setting your table right now, Taurus, preparing your table. And there really is an emphasis on not getting caught up and suck down the drain with the spilled cups, with the empty cups, when there's a full cup right here. Any cup that's spilling, any any situation that isn't working out the way we wanted to or the way we thought it would or quote unquote in our favor right now, it, it's definitely working out in your favor and it might just be the way we're perceiving it. It might just take a shift of perspective or a shift of focus. So you taking your conscious awareness and again, speaking, claiming and affirming, you're coming through as the magician, Taurus. So you are powerful. You have learned a lot. This is about you using the tools that you've acquired along your journey, family, and making that magic happen here. Again, unapologetically going for it, doing you, regardless of who thinks what about it or who looks at it any type of way or whatever. This is where you stand in your true authentic self and you shine your light nobody has to be wrong or bad or any of that to for us to do what we know we need to do taurus right every situation in person that has been in our journey along our way is a part of us manifests outward to teach us something and to bring us into this space ultimately so it's like release forgive surrender um and let's go we got we got places to be people to see things to create family it really is that time it's going to be so important that we use the tools that we've acquired along our journey especially if you're part of this like you know youtube spiritual tarot community um to catch yourself to to be a creator instead of um you know a consumer to catch yourself when you're getting pulled into just doing the next thing and to pull yourself into yourself and say what is the real next thing here especially in you know the northern hemisphere where we have a lot of craziness happening the whole world really it's a lot of craziness happening. It can be easy to get pulled off into that. I look around me and I see it happening, you know. Um, be still and know. What is this teaching us, family? And, and what do we do with that, right? So what is the advice? 
So I think there's a message here about really doing as well. Doing it for you, doing it for your soul. Yeah, your advice is to stay strong, Taurus. Stay out of your head. If you notice yourself getting pulled off into all of the what ifs and the stress and the overthinking, pull yourself back and look around you. None of those thoughts are, are real. It's all this illusion that's happening in the mind. This moment right here, right now is real. And if we can embody this frequency of optimism of, yo, I know my waves coming in. I know my ships are coming in, right? This is where we plant those seeds, right? And I, I see a lot of you are right now in that magician energy. We're moving up, moving into a new moon. Plant the seeds and do not let the weeds of fate choke out your seeds of destiny. Taurus, crazy, I just posted that earlier. It's about standing in your power. This is about self-mastery, not letting your anger or your lower nature get the best of you at this time. This is about staying centered in your heart space again and having fun, having some fun with it, right? Life doesn't always have to be so serious. This is about you tapping in with that inner child, with uh, your artwork or your music or the things that make you smile, that make you happy, dancing, all of those things. The people as well that are your people that you can have fun with that can help to raise that vibration and keep you kind of out of your head at this time. And ultimately, this is about staying rooted and grounded in your power, Taurus, in your inherent abundance, in your divinity, spending some time out in nature um, and getting grounded, feet to the ground. This is really about releasing, stepping out of your comfort zone, okay, Taurus, and, and not pouring into situations that are just not serving you anymore, okay? feel like you're going through a bit of a rebirth. Let's grab some oracle cards. Let's start with this shadow work deck. It's been calling. And then I have this, I have another one out here as well, Messages of the Cosmos. The message for Taurus. Okay, breaking chains on the bottom. The only way to overcome blocks is to confront them. This is about self limiting beliefs, and you literally have the limiting beliefs card out here as well. So it says ultimately, you become what you believe mindset and self-realization close-minded <clears throat> unwilling to consider other perspectives or entertain new ideas be more open this is about openness and receptivity and shadow alchemy this is where you take all of this raw energy it's not good or it's not bad taurus you take this raw energy and you and you harness it and you create with it turn your shadows into gold by shifting your awareness empowerment and rebirth damn i just said that too thank you spirit let's grab one of these messages of the cosmos as well before we tap out taurus i want to thank you all for being here in this space with me i hope you're able to take something from this message i hope it resonates i hope it helps uh to some degree in some capacity um yeah, I hope it helps you along your journey. Feels like Taurus is really taking your power back as the sun is opposing your sun or your rising or your moon or whatever placement you are watching this reading for as I am recording this during Scorpio season, right? As we all take that trip down into the underworld. You could use some self-care time, like now. Schedule it in, family. And Taurus, y'all are good at that. So tap in with yourself. Come back home, right? Take care of yourself. Put on some comfy clothes with some good music. Light a candle, right? Say a prayer. Taurus, you know how to do that. 
Clear your mental and physical clutter. You will feel so much better. Can I get one more? Thank you, spirit. Stop trying to carry the world on your shoulders. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Surrender, God got it, family. I promise. With that being said, I'm gonna get this uploaded for you, family. I hope you enjoyed the reading and I hope to see you beautiful beings on the next one.